Hi guys, I'm here with Daryl. Thank you for joining us. My privilege, thank you for coming. Of course. We're here at Ninth Line Family Golf Academy. Yes. You guys have been here forever. I just want to know much more about it. So how long have you guys actually been here? Um, we're now heading into our 18th year, hard to believe, but uh, it has been 18 years. Uh, the site that we're on was the former dumping grounds for the 407 when it was being built. So we took almost a uh, derelict piece of land with uh, asphalt in the field, uh, street signs, people's car batteries, uh, some derelict buildings, uh, a lot of trees and shrubs, and uh, we virtually cleared it ourselves and then had to go about creating a landscape that allowed us to build a uh, full driving range and a uh, full mini golf. When you guys wanted to open a business, what made you think family golf? My son uh, had always had an entrepreneurial spirit to him. Good for him. He, uh, he wanted to own his own small business. He was uh, athletic uh, by nature, uh, high interest in golf. And so he said to me one day, he said, Dad, uh, uh, how would you like to uh, start a, a driving range with me? which meant dad's money and his sweat equity. Sometimes how it goes. Exactly how it goes. <laughs> okay, what made you see this location and be like, that's it? We looked at a number of locations, but quite candidly, the amount of land available in mm -hmm. uh, the city of Mississauga or this general area is minimal. Yeah. Uh, the land that we're on is, is lease land from the Ontario government. So we are on lease land. You'd never be able to run a driving range on, on land that you owned. It would just be too expensive. So we have uh, uh, had our lease uh, for the 17 years uh, and we're in a position where um, when we came and started it, uh, we looked at probably 15 locations. Uh, we would have liked one that would, was actually on a more of a uh, primary road, but that just didn't exist. We would have had to go into the Milton area. We didn't want to do that. We wanted to stay in Mississauga. So this became the best opportunity for us. The uh, land across the street from us is going to be developed further all the way down to uh, uh, Britannia and then even below to Eglinton at one point. Yeah. So uh, it, it's uh, a really interesting location. When we first started here, we did not have all the land around us uh, in terms of development, developed land. Uh, the houses weren't all here. So we were kind of out in the middle of a field. So it took us a long time. When you're not on a main artery and you don't have a lot of money to do advertising, it takes a long time to build a clientele. And we did that just through relationships. Perfect. So can you tell me, what do you guys do here? We are primarily a driving range. Okay. And we also have a mini golf. It's an 18 hole challenging mini golf. The mini golf is built on uh, what they call screenings, which allows you to shape the fairways uh, as opposed to being on concrete. If you're mm -hmm. on concrete, everything is flat. If you're, if you're on, sh on uh, shavings, uh, and screenings, you're allowed to therefore contour the fairway. Make it the what greens. you want it to Exactly. Be. And so it's like playing a little golf course as opposed to playing on flat concrete. So that's what uh, we have as a mini golf here. Uh, the driving range uh, up until four years ago was just your regular seasonal driving range from uh, late spring till late fall. That's what, what the driving range was. But now we have a winter cover. And so we're open 12 months a year. And with the winter cover, uh, we have 12 bays that are heated, so people uh, up three, four, five degrees below zero with the heaters on, out of the wind, totally in case they hit the balls out into the uh, fairway just like they would be in the summertime. And people love the idea of not hitting in a dome, but being able to see their ball, how, hard, how far it flies. The cover is year round in the sense that um, in the spring if it's pouring rain and people can't be outside, uh, they don't need the heaters, but they're covered, they still can hit balls. Um, in the summertime, uh, we uh, have, have converted it. We take out the heaters and we put in a misting system. So it's just like sitting on a patio at your favorite restaurant and you know, every so often psh, psh, and it, it, the, the spray uh, drops the temperature by as much as 10 degrees. So we have people who cannot handle the heat of being outside. They come under the cover, they're out of the sun and with the misters, they, uh, there they are hitting golf balls. So it really is not a winter cover. It's a year round cover. You guys really do cater to comfort. We, um, it, it's not so much catering to comfort, it, it's, it's allowing people the opportunity to be recreational 12 months a year. 
One of the things I feel really good about is we have a lot of seniors who come, particularly in the wintertime. We have a, a great seniors population and Paul does some excellent clinics uh, uh, very inexpensively for seniors uh, through the spring, early summer. But in the wintertime, there are many seniors who used to go south, but they can't go south now because either their health, their, their spouse or partner's health, or they can't get insurance or whatever the case may be. To see them come out, small groups of them, make it their outing for the day, hit balls, have a coffee, chit chat, etc. Paul goes out and gives them tips, and, uh, you know, on their swing, etc. Uh, it it really is nice to see them engaged as opposed to just sitting at home on the couch. And and every time they leave, I say thanks for coming in. Um, and invariably, uh, a lot of people do it, but particularly the seniors will say just thanks for being here yeah. because for them, otherwise they would not be able to pick up a golf club for. Uh, the entire winter so it's kind of nice and everyone needs something to do exactly. somewhere to be so it's like a little community uh. yeah and and it's it's very observant for you to say community we we're proud of the relationships we have with people we uh we try and be engaging we try and be family driven in terms of our values uh not to sound melodramatic about it but that's what it's about uh, yeah. it's all built on our word of mouth uh, it's all built on referrals etc um, and, and so for us, it, it's, it's really um, developing a sense of community and we have volunteers who come out here and work uh, and work with us uh, simply because um, they've been with us, they're now retired, uh, they want something to do and uh, they, they volunteer and in turn Paul does clinics with them, they get to hit balls uh, uh, during the summer, during the winter and so they'll, they'll come out and it gives them activity to do, helps us out needless to say, um, but at the same time it's, it's still all about that relationship. They've, mm -hmm. they've watched uh, uh, my grandchildren, Paul's uh, kids grow up. They, they know them by name, etc. So at the risk of selling uh, corny or, or melodramatic, uh, we're pretty proud of those relationships. It's not corny at all. It's really what, biz I, I don't even want to say business really, but it's really what it's all about. Uh, I've had the privilege of being responsible for some very large public and corporate uh, companies in, in my day and uh, uh, no matter how big how small uh, you have to be in a position where it's all about uh, customer service it's all about relationships it's all about valuing the people they've got choices they can go to another driving range or they can spend their money doing something other than than golfing uh, but the fact that they come here uh, we want to make sure that we're honoring the fact that they're giving us their business and that's how we try to build the whole uh, the whole business that we have and, and I, I think in large measure it's worked. We, I mean, we're not a huge corporate profitable company in that sense, but we are a company that uh, um, people, um, if you look at our website you, uh, and the reviews, if you look at Google reviews, if you look at, at other social media reviews, one of the things they talk about is our staff and they talk about uh, Paul and the whole family basis. Everybody from my wife to, uh, to children, grandchildren, my other daughters, sons, uh, other grandchildren, they've all worked here at different times, etc. Yeah. So, um, every so often it's kind of cool when uh, somebody will say, and how's Darylin, or how's Mark, or how's Lou, whatever. Uh, they're asking about my children, they're asking yeah. about my grandchildren. And so uh, when I say, well, this one's doing their own business now, or this one's whatever, that, that's kind of nice to have that, that sort of relationship. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me something that most people don't know about this business? Like I know we've kind of talked, you kind of shared with me, you guys do corporate events and... Yeah, and, and I appreciate you, you, you raising that uh, because uh, one of the things that we are now doing more often are corporate events and it's kind of a fun thing because people come out and have a, a team building exercise within the company. They do cross-functional uh, uh, um, department things. So, <coughs> excuse me, they will... Um, They'll come out and play 18 holes of a mini golf as a team. They'll have longest drive. They'll have uh, closest to the hole. Uh, uh, they'll have a putting contest, etc. cetera. Um, and then they have, a, you know, a, on the patio, they have a pizza party or, or whatever the case yeah. may be. Uh, they give prizes for, for everything that's gone on. And, it, you know, it really works well. We've got some companies, I mean, large, large companies that are coming back for the fourth and fifth year this year have already booked it. We have um, uh, day camps uh, operating in Mississauga, Halton Hills, um, Georgetown, Milton, etc. That they they come annually. They bring the kids uh, two or three times during the summer to uh, to play mini golf and hit some balls. 
we run our own uh, summer golf academy here as well. Birthdays. So, and the birthday parties are, and, and everybody thinks, you know, it'll be a seven year old, a nine year old, an 11 year old. We have had uh, people come out and do the kind of corporate event for a 40th birthday party, whatever, okay. and, and they really have a good time doing it. And we have a lot of relationships with our local restaurants. We have a lot of relationships with uh, um, other companies, so we, we refer them in the, in the process. So it's, uh, we don't have the, the full kitchen capacities that others have, so we are able to do certain things with them, but other things we link up them up with one of the right. local uh, four or five uh, restaurants in the area, and it works out well. Well, thank you for being such a big staple in our community. Yeah, you're very kind. I have one question. You got this. Okay. If you can give me one golfing tip, I have never golfed a day in my life, what would it be? Have fun. Okay. okay. But I think that uh, it, it's very simple and it sounds uh, promotional, it's not meant to be. Um, whether it's here or someplace else, if you're starting, uh, get a good clinic get a good couple of private lessons whatever because if you don't you start to develop bad habits got it and i have a, a phrase that i've used for a lot of years uh, and that is you can either play golf or you can play at golf if you want to play at golf you uh, you're going to shoot anywhere from 95 to 120 on any given day depending on how many putts you have you'll have good fellowship you'll get fresh air and you get exercise but if you want to start getting your score into the 80s consistently, if you want to make you know enjoy hitting some really good golf shots, you have to understand the fundamentals, right? From yeah. the, the grip right on through. So if nothing else, the very first thing that I would say to you is make sure that somebody teaches you how to hold the golf club properly. Most people think they know how to hold it properly, but if you watch the pros and they stand there in the tee, what are they fidgeting with? The first and foremost is they're getting their grip set. Yeah. You get that right, then the stance, the posture, and everything else goes from there. And I think that's what we're really proud of. We got kids who are seven and eight years old when they started here, who today are carrying a uh, Canadian Professional Golf Association playing card, teaching card, etc. So I'm proud of what Paul's done with those kids. We've had others who've gone to uh, uh, U.S. universities on golf scholarships. And I guess more importantly, uh, we've got some uh, some women who now play golf with their husbands who never thought they'd play golf with their husbands, but after taking some lessons, after practicing, etc., they're having fun, but they're doing it as a couple. Yeah. And the neat part of it is the number of seniors who are now coming in as they're retiring, they're coming in and saying, I really want to get into this. So we really cater to, uh, to people who want to have fun playing golf. Amazing. I did lie. Um, I said I had one question, but you, you've said this word a few times or referred to this. I want to know what it means. When you say a clinic, what does that mean? Um, a clinic, a golf clinic is, is a, where a group of people are taking a lesson together. Oh, okay. And so um, Paul does uh, seniors clinics, as I indicated, in the early spring and uh, in the early summer as well. Uh, but we also do them uh, through the week and on the weekends. Uh, on Saturday mornings, we do clinics for kids anywhere from five to about nine, ten years old, where they come in for three Saturdays in a row, uh, and they learn the fundamentals. Um, Paul does uh, ladies' clinics through the week. Uh, he does a clinic on driver. He'll do a clinic on short game. He'll do a clinic on punting. Oh. You'll go to a lot of places, and I don't ever diss our, our, our competition or other organizations, but a lot of people run clinics, 12, 15, 16 people in the clinic. Uh, we just don't believe that you can get enough Too attention much. doing that. So our clinics are, are six to seven people. Uh, if we, if there's more than that, then we start a second one and one of our other uh, associate pros helps with that or I do some of it with Paul. But uh, the clinics are a great way to go. Uh, golf lessons uh, for some people are, are not within their ability to pay. Uh, but the clinics, including their golf balls, and, and even if they don't have golf clubs, we if they need a clinic, we just lend them the, the equipment, and uh, it's to get them started. And, and the number of people who are not uh, born in Canada, um, who watch it on television, and who will come out and walk through the door, almost embarrassed to say, I watched it on television, um, I just want to try it, etc., um, we try and find a few minutes, one of us, the staff or Paul or whomever, we try and find a few minutes to help them with the first fundamentals just so that they don't feel totally awkward. 
Um, but that's always a joy, quite frankly, to have somebody come through the door and say, "I've never picked up a golf club in my hand." They'll they'll talk Sweet. about they will talk about uh, um, uh, depending on the nationality. They'll say, "What do I need in the kit?" Uh, oh, what do we, you know, uh, etc. Um, Starter pot. You know, it, it's just it, the, the the vocabulary is very interesting. But we have a lot of fun with people out here, and uh, we work hard. Uh, we uh, last week alone. Uh, before the heavy snow came, we uh, weren't able to put the ball picker on much of the of the field because of the heavy rains we'd had following the snow. And uh, three of us uh, unplugged and handpicked probably in the neighborhood of twelve to fifteen thousand golf balls. Wow! Wow! So it's uh, it's it's you know a lot of people think you find a piece of land you started started driving range and away you go. Uh, it's it's not quite that simple. It's every industry. It is. Yeah. It is. Well, thank you so much for being here, kind of educating us about this gem, this staple in our community. You're very it, kind to say that, thank you. It's true. My best friends frequent this place all the time, so I really wanted to take a moment and just sit down and get to know you guys a little well, bit better. We appreciate the opportunity and thank you for your interest. Absolutely. Thank you so much. As always, always like, comment, and share. Thank you. Thanks very much.